my friends, and welcome to the Yuva Therapy Session Live. Friday night, it's always, always nice to see that on the calendar that it's Friday night, which means it's weekend, at least here in Europe, maybe you're ready with your weekend uh, if you're living in, uh, well, on the eastern part of the world, basically you're ahead of me in time, so you're ready all the way into the weekend, so it's welcome. Welcome to this weekend, guys, and welcome to the stream as well. So thank you so much for joining too, Mike, of course. First one here, and Anish, as always, is Hasna and Brad, Ale, and Max. And of course, there'll be more coming, I'm sure of it, and Mr. T is there as well, and Steve. Um, guys, we had a crazy session. Adit says there as well. Um, we had a crazy session uh yesterday three and a half hours uh, we talked about allegri uh, whatever happened uh, with him in the future whatever it was not official uh, it was not official so it was my mistake but kind of when fabrizio romano and romeo agresti are tweeting that it is the done deal it's here we go you know we, we, it's, it, you can just assume it is official so we kind of played the game of being the first ones out there to announce that he was official. So it was quite, quite funny. <clears throat> Pierre says hi, vibe, uh, vibe um, Mr. Juno beats Ryan and Mr. Crab as well. Always a pleasure, my friends. I see the same people here. And before we even start uh, talking about Allegri joining, even we talk about uh, Allegri and his future lineup. Uh, in fact, in 42 minutes, Italy are playing their huge game against San Marino, the mighty San Marino. And I have the lineup for you, and you will be laughing your ass off, by the way. Um, <clears throat> uh, I got to say that, uh, actually, the season is over, and I haven't even, and I haven't even, you know, just made a summary out of it. But before we go any further, I just want to say, throughout this season, you guys have been so supportive. Don't don't spoil everything, Aditza. Don't 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 listen to Aditza. Wait, wait for me. Wait for me. Uh, uh, announcing the lineup. Why? Uh, spoiling surprise, Aditza. Why do you do this? But guys, um, thank you so much for your your support throughout this season. Uh, and all of you, you know who you are, my friends. It is, of course, Aditza. It is. Uh, Andra has been there sometimes. Max has been there. Uh, Pierre. Uh, Raik as well. And um, Anish. Uh, I mean, you guys are great. So I thank you so much for supporting this channel. And well, since you are returning, that means I give you uh, I give you something. So it's quite cool. Um, and uh, Aditza's best from the chat. <laughs> never um so it's quite cool so we continue doing this and uh, i love that you keep supporting me and uh, thank you very much and it gives me quite a lot um just to seeing numbers that you are watching and you are uh following this channel so thank you so much um yes the lineup since aditza can't just wait she's too excited and just can't hide it she's about to lose control but I think she likes it. There we go. This is the lineup um, for Italy against San Marino, the mighty San Marino. And, of course, again, Aditza uh, said that Bernadeschi is the captain of Italy right now in 40 minutes. Um, <clears throat> the only reason being that he is the most capped player for, uh, for Italy. That's why he starts. I don't think he has any leadership. Um he has not a not another ounce of leadership in his body. Um and um that's it. Toloi is even older than him. So I just and if we were talking about pure leadership, I'd say Toloi has more leadership than Bernadeschi. But it is Kanyo in goal, it is Biragi, Ferrari, Mancini, Toloi, Biragi from Fiorentina, Ferrari from Sassuolo, if not mistaken, Mancini from Roma. Toloi from Atalanta, of course, Pessina, Atalanta, Cristante, Roma, Castrovilli, Fiorentina, Moise, Kean from Ayrton, of course, loaned out to PSG, Grifo, <clears throat> not so sure where he plays, actually, uh, and, of course, Bernadeschi from the mighty Juve. <clears throat> and, of course, right before he goes out to playing at San Marino, he manages to smash a super chat. Thank you. 
my good friend Nokia. I wish you luck today. You are the GOAT and it is good vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine Bernard Desk is scoring five. It could very well be because, I mean, seriously. Yeah, he plays in Germany. Grateful, yeah. Thank you. Um, thank you, Pierre. I mean, Bernadeschi scoring against San Marino five goals. Maybe that will happen, but it is San Marino. It's a tin pot um, footballing nation. So, yeah. Thank you so much for the super chat, Nokia Gotski. Bernadeschi. I love this. Uh, Ferrari plays for Sassuolo, if I am not mistaken. But enough of that. Enough of that so far. I uh, wish him luck. Um, Viva. What does it, it say? Viva Azzurro. There we go. All right. Fine. <laughs> but we are here to talk about Azzurri. Of course, we are here to talk about Allegri, who just uh, got um, signed his four year contract with Juve. <laughs> And it will be very interesting to see what happens in the future. Uh, who will come, who will go. Um, there are talks of many players um, staying, actually. Uh, not many, but some players are staying, but some players um, that are on his list. Uh, and this is why, <clears throat> this is why I want to um, uh, make a lineup. I want to create a lineup with you, my friends, with the help uh, from your help. Uh, we did it yesterday, but it was just so, yeah, I didn't like how we did it. So we're just going to do it uh, better <laughs> today. So you're going to help me to set up. Just don't, don't reveal your lineups or your wishes or whatever. But if if you are Allegri, um, what is uh, the lineup, the, the Juve lineup 2020? Uh, so, sorry, 2021-2022. There we go. Um, <clears throat> I'm so glad Allegri is back, says Dominic. And why? Why are we so happy that Max Allegri is back? We talked about it a lot yesterday, but I want to hear your thoughts, guys, because now I have full focus on the chat. I want to hear your thoughts. Why? Um, why do you think Allegri is a good idea? Um, by the way, uh, there were also uh, talks, uh, criticism towards some fans in uh, from Juventini, basically, uh, because we were very, very um, harsh with Maurizio Sarri. He left. We didn't care. Uh, we wanted. We we booted the guy off, basically. Um, but with Pirlo, uh, also got one season, but Pirlo gets. All the glory, all the grazie, mister, uh, good luck for the future. But when Ma Maurizio Sarri left, very little, uh, very few uh, good luck wishes to him. Um, we were basically couldn't wait until Sarri left and then we could appoint somebody. Uh, well, we did appoint uh, Andre Pirlo very, very, very quickly. Um, my honest opinion to that is that, of course, um, we had high expectations with Maurizio Sarri. Maurizio Sarri um, played great football with Napoli. I didn't think he played particularly great football with Chelsea. And <clears throat> uh, Juve were in dire need of renewing their strategy. Hi, Adam. Nice to see you. Lobsang as well. And Arian Juventus, of course. Cristiano Mike uh, as well. And Charlie. Pleasure. And Rob too. Uh, so, yeah, we had high expectations towards Sarri, uh, and we expected more than we got. So when we got very, very... Um, when we stagnated, basically, with Sarri, um, not so long before the COVID hit, we kind of saw that well, this is not going to be a pleasant ending to the season. So we got more and more frustrated with Sarri because he couldn't bring in new ideas to the side and he did the same things all over again every single time with Maurizio Sarri. And of course, towards the end of the season, we would barely survived, um, won the league by one freaking point. And so, <clears throat> yeah, it was, it was painful and we expected more from Sarri. On the other hand, if you look at Pirlo, we didn't actually expect so much. Well, personally, I didn't. Let's face it, guys. I didn't expect uh, Pirlo to win the Scudetto. 
I said this. I will be happy with the quarterfinals of the champ in the Champions League. That's it. Um, that's it. And we have also to factor in that uh, other teams like Merda, um, like Sassuolo, like um, well, even Crapoli, even well, Lazio. They had their coaches before last last season. So, um, well, perfect example is. Uh, Lazio, who um, had Simone Inzaghi for several, several seasons, and um, build a team, build a good team. Not good enough, far from it. They just they came behind us towards the end of the um, to the end of the season, so they will be playing in the Europa League um, alongside Crapoli. <laughs> but uh, you know the th- the thing is that <clears throat> when you give a guy who has no experience whatsoever, um. A chance to coach Juve, of course, uh, it's always going to be tough, especially when on top of that, you have a broken squad. It's always going to be tough. I'm not saying um, Andrea Pirlo was perfect. I'm not saying Andrea Pirlo was something great, um, but I can see why he struggled. And not because of his inability to uh, man manage. That was also, that. that's probably on him. His inability to create a good, um, a good formation, a great starting eleven. He always changes, changes things, change things, and whatever. But <clears throat> we also must remember that we have a crappy squad. We don't have a good enough squad to win the scudetto. Let's just let's just say it like it is. We need more. We need a functional midfield. We need somebody who can score goals apart from Cristiano. We need some uh, someone in the defense who will be there consistently, uh, beside Matthias Delict. And <clears throat> uh, we need more than just a coach. So I get why people. Um, are frustrated with Pirlo, but I also need to remind those people that it's not just because of Pirlo we didn't win the Scudetto. Far from it. There is a mixture of it, and their ex- the expectations the expectations were higher towards Sarri than Pirlo. So this is why we accept that Pirlo did his best. We know this. You know, you saw how much it meant to him. Um the Coppa Italia trophy. You know how much it meant to him that we finally got to the uh, to the Champions League. You know this. And this is why it is a bittersweet ending. It is a correct ending. I do not think... I said this. If we have a better option than Pirlo, you sign that option. We have now a better option than Pirlo, who is Massimiliano Allegri. But if there are no better options, if we hired Gattuso, I'd rather stick with Pirlo, to be honest. So, for me, this is the difference between Sarri and Pirlo. We expected more from Sarri. We didn't expect that much from Pirlo. We didn't get that much from Pirlo either. So, kind of to be disappointed with something you were never expected to get. That's why. So... Of course, we can falter. Uh, we have a lot of faults with Pirlo. Yes, the tactics, the inability to um, alter uh, the play while the game is being played. Um, after 60 minutes, he doesn't know what to do. We get th- uh, the Merda game. The first Merda game was a perfect example of it. We were, we we just <laughs> we didn't turn up. The Fiorentina game, we didn't show up. The Milan game, we didn't show up. So there are faults there as well, but. It's just not enough. It's just not enough to say if we put out, if we take out Pirlo and hire Pep, we would win the league. No, I don't think so. If we hire, if we fire Pirlo and hire Allegri now, do we honestly think? And that is now we're talking about Pirlo. Uh, sorry, um, Allegri. Do you honestly think, without any purchase, without any transfers whatsoever, we keep the squad like it is today? Do you honestly think that we're winning Scudetto next season? No, it will be madness because I think as far as far I, I believe we could go second, third maybe, but I don't think that we will be able to win the Scudetto based on what we have today. So we need changes. We need changes not only in the management level because that we got right now, thankfully. Now we need changes 
in the players department the guys who actually play the game so then we'll see what happens <clears throat> let's see in the chat my friends um only positive with Allegri back is that he will have more to say in the transfer, says Mr. T. Yes, uh, this is why Paradici was hired, uh, fired Sorry, to uh, the, the fact that Allegri will have more to say in the transfers. Yes, I agree. So he doesn't have to bandage his team together all the time. Yes. And this is why I think there are talks of Cristiano Ronaldo not being very happy with this appointment. I think Cristiano, considering leaving uh, Juve question is who will sign him who has the money and who will actually go for it one thing is having the money and having the desire but who will actually have the guts have uh, balls to accommodate the transfer because you know when Cristiano arrives at your club you start him it doesn't matter who plays at your right uh, left wing you start Cristiano that's just that's just how big he is so if we are thinking, if we're thinking that he's going to PSG, well, Kylian Mbappe will be very unhappy. Neymar will be very unhappy. But it's not our problem. But, you know, that's also the thing. So maybe Cristiano will end up staying for another season. We don't know. <clears throat> you have to win with many goals. 1-0 is for mediocre teams, says Ale. And I, I'll say this again. We said this yesterday. Uh, I don't think that today's Allegri is the same Allegri that was there three seasons ago. Two, three seasons. I do not believe that. I think we'll see a different Agnelli now. Uh, Allegri, sorry. Um, I'm not sure. Of course, I'm not. But I just, I just have a feeling that... Um, this is a different squad. This is a different, uh, different uh, opponents. Uh, probably the football evolved slightly in the last three seasons. Um, I mean, <laughs> things change. Allegri also can change. But of course, the way they announced Allegri's um, appointment today on the Juventus uh, social media, on Juventus Twitter page, it was hilarious. It was funny. The analogies, the Minnesota analogy, the his jacket analogy. Yeah, it was funny. But they have never done that before. So that means that I think the club is all over this transfer. All over. They are so freaking happy with Allegri arriving. So happy. So they will back Allegri 100% and more. Dominic says Allegri bring trophies. He doesn't play with most entertaining football, but the results is the only thing that matters in the end, says Dominic. Yes, it is. But it also, um, I totally agree with Dominic there. And also, um, our team will be built uh, based on players' strengths. We will not play Danilo in the midfield. We will not play um, Chiesa on the left just because it suits our coach is because it suits Quadrado. No, I think we will combine everything into one big, nice cocktail of 11 individuals who play in their natural positions and, well, delivering their best. So whether that means that Quadrado will be benched for Chiesa, I don't know. Would that mean that Quadrado will be behind Chiesa? Perhaps. Where will Dybala play? I mean, we have a lot of a lot of questions to answer. So that will be exciting to see how he builds his team. And you guys, my friends, you will help me with this tonight. Basically, building a team how we think Allegri will play and who we think Allegri will buy this summer. So I have another app thingy that I'm just um, I will um, show to you a bit later, uh, and we'll go through every single position. So that'd be fun. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Uh, thank you so much for joining, guys. By the way, I love this. The, um, the chat is rolling. I'm sorry if I can't answer every one of you, um, but we'll try some of you. Um, Samson, the great man, mighty. I love them just because I love the name. I'll highlight this one Samson, the great man, mighty. Yeah, Samson is a biblical character. Well, yeah, it's 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 cool. It's uh, I love I love this. Uh, this is no, there is no guarantee of you winning through that next season. I agree. You restarted a project with people and should have given them one more chance. Um, interesting, um, and probably 
They should have. Probably yes. However, when Allegri opportunity arises, you can just pass it on. And you know, is uh, the fact is that if Allegri doesn't join us, he goes to Real Madrid. He goes to. He could have gone to Merda. And, I mean, maybe he basically Pirlo was just out of his debt. Would they saw this? Agnelli saw that. Agnelli made a mistake. I said this one year ago, maybe just 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 uh, earlier, maybe in June or whatever. I said this on this very channel. If Agnelli thinks that this is uh, a failure, he is shooting himself in the foot right there. So Agnelli hired Pirlo. This is not on Paratici. Paratici didn't want Pirlo as far as I've heard. Paratici wanted Simone Inzaghi. Paratici wanted um, Pochettino, if I'm not mistaken. Agnelli wanted Pirlo. Maybe, uh, and this is speculation only, maybe because he thought of Super League. Super League will go through. Uh, we're going to play with Super League. We're going to... Uh, it doesn't matter how badly we play this season because next season we'll be playing in the Super League and we'll earn some money. Pirlo will get uh, his uh, confidence up. Uh, he'll have this experience of one season. It doesn't matter what happens this season because next season we will be in the Super League. But that didn't happen. So now he made a mistake. He made a financial mistake. Of course, this was a cost saving as well. Uh, they hired a coach who basically paid nothing. Now, they will be paying Allegri 7 million. Bear in mind, Maurizio Sarri is still under contract. As of today, per today. So, yeah, we lose money just because of this. But since Super League isn't coming next season, Agnelli need to reconsider. And this is maybe what he did. Super League isn't coming. Allegri, that's what we need Netron, just to build up uh, the status of the club once again, because right now we are, well, to say the least, struggling. We have a lot of issues. Um, and it all started, it all started during the last two seasons of Allegri. When Higuain arrived, the second season after Higuain arrived, uh, we kind of saw um, some parts of downfall you know we saw Matuidi, Kedira getting new contract um <clears throat> Iguain struggling to be offloaded yeah it all started there and of course Cristiano arrived trying to save our assets he did so but he didn't help us in the Champions League and we never really followed up on that in next season with Sarri and Pirlo so there we go um I think this is a reset button somewhat so we'll see what happens and this is a bigger task for Allegri now than it was five seasons ago. I also said this yesterday. Five seasons ago, there was a foundation. Five, six, seven uh, seasons ago, there was a foundation there from Conte. Now, there's basically nothing. It's, it's just paper. paper uh, papered over the cracks, basically, by, by Sarri and Pirlo. Now, we'll see. We'll see how deep that rabbit hole goes. <clears throat> Brad is very negative about joining uh, about Allegra joining but definitely he will go to the semi-final hmm, in Champions League that will be fine that will be interesting we will win Serie A win Supercoppa lose Coppa Italia my prediction for next season alright totally fine the Lincoln welcome to the stream um, welcome to the stream and uh, Dildar as well pleasure Chad is heated today. I love this. <clears throat> what is the crazy stuff, my friends? What is going on? What is going on? Who is being nasty? Mad Max is playing with his key player. Uh, good X. When we got... Iguain, he played Mandzukic on the left to facilitate Dybala, Iguain, Mandzukic playing together. Yes, yes, Andra, and that is also a point. He makes uh, 11 individuals play as a team because Mandzukic on the left side, I was bashing that. I was bashing it. I was. I, will, I still disagree with that move. 
um but he made it happen he made it happen we went to the champions league final because of those uh changes with Miral and Pjanic and Sami Kedira, if I'm not mistaken, we played in the Champions League final. <laughs> Miral and Pjanic, Sami, J Medical Kedira. Wow, wow, we were, my friends. Wow, wow, we were. Yeah. Uh, Boshin is there. Nice to see you, Rohan, as well. Uh, oh, thank you. Yes. This one is nice. Uh, nice. Uh nice 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 the first season this is the first season when we changed that uh, yeah there we go the beautiful logo to whatever this is um <clears throat> still don't change kadir used to be class to be fair yeah nicholas he was class when he was injury free but when he was injury free that was in 1527 i think and 1759 that those were the years when sami kedira was injury free <laughs> i want the post as in there's it welcome to the stream and um Zalitza says two last that we weren't as happy as for example winning cup this season point uh and getting into the top four losing scudetto this season is maybe a good thing another point uh it will give us more hunger which we lacked this is the question to the players, however. And I'm looking at you, Rodrigo Bentancourt. Mm -hmm. I hope you're watching this, Rodrigo Bentancourt. And do you have the hunger in that Uruguayan ballet to fight? And I'm looking also at you, Leonardo Bonucci. I'm looking at you, well, Paolo Dybala. Paolo Dybala must be so hungry. He's starving for success. Because let's face it, this season has been a miserable season for Paolo Dybala. Absolutely miserable. It was a nice ending to two games or so. But this was a miserable season in terms of injuries, in terms of goals, in terms of confidence. He must be so hungry. If I just dangle a carrot in front of him, I bet he lit my whole hand. And then Delict will eat him up because well, Delict eat, eats those kinds of players for breakfast. By the way, Delict, seriously, get him to captaincy for next season already. I thought I think Max uh, knows this, and Max will fall in love with Delict without any question. I trust Max. We used to play UEFA Champions League finals with Pjanic, Kedir in the midfield, but now we'll have Arthur, McKenny, Rabiot, and maybe our Pogba says Dilder. I don't. Ugh, why are we talking about Pogba? <laughs> don't like it. I don't like it um but it's not about exactly who we have right now it's a, it's about what they can provide to the club it doesn't matter what qualities um, arthur has at this very moment arthur is not injury free that's it he can be at cristiano ronaldo level he can be the goat he can be pele ronaldo um maradona baccio level he can be the greatest player of all time, but as long as he's not fit, he won't be good for us. He won't, he won't, he won't provide anything. He won't contribute at all. So I'm sorry, I've said this many, many times. I'll say this again. If you just joined the stream, guys, welcome. Just half hour past, smash like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll say this. If you've seen, if you've seen this for the very first time, I'll say this. Arthur. Uh, purchase or a swap deal or whatever was a big mistake from our medical staff they needed to look into history of arthur and say hey why is he only playing 60 minutes for barca every game hmm can't he play every um every three days well hmm what do we do about that and then we find out that about exactly the same thing and we actually find out that he has an issue with his legs that need require more or less surgery so we cannot trust this investment to play week in and week out. So already we're missing one player, a vital player who is creative, who is technical, who can play in a position where we lacked players this season. But we cannot play him because he is not fit. 
So once he is fit, then we can then we can think of okay, how can he play? How can he contribute? Uh, okay, he need he has this weakness, he has that weakness, but it doesn't matter at the end of the day that he he lo he holds on for the ball for too long. Okay, yes, that's his weakness, but how are we gonna fix it when he's never fit? So we always we always go back to square one with uh, Arthur. He is inconsistent. He um, he is playing. Uh, inconsistently, right? And then he just improves, 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 improves. He's getting better, getting to know his teammates better. Boom! Injured. One, two, three weeks off. No football. And then when he's back, same thing. Inconsistent, sloppy, holds for the on the ball for too long, doesn't pass when he needs to pass, doesn't track back when he needs to track back. Uh, he needs to learn that once again, once again, once again. Boom! Injured. Reset. That's it. This is Arthur's season this season, and this is what I don't like. So we cannot trust the guy. As much as I like him, I like him as a player. I think he has quality, immense quality. On form, he is by far our best midfielder on form. But again, it's just a Douglas Costa. It's a, it, it's a Douglas Costa 2.0, basically. Right now, Arthur is a Douglas Costa 2.0. Hi Akshay, welcome to the stream. Um, <clears throat> uh, do, 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 do. Opinion on Ramsey, the same thing, Nicholas. Um, thank you for the question. Uh, opinion on Ramsey. Uh, Ramsey is the same thing. Um, Ramsey is, we cannot trust him. You know, we cannot trust the guy because, um, because he's not he's not fit. And as much as I also fancy, I also like the guy, I also think that he is quality, but when he's fit, I don't think he should be anywhere near a position's goal. That, that's, that, let's be fair, because he just cannot finish to save his life. But he can create, he can move off the ball. The thing, exact thing that we lacked this season, movement off the ball. He's a smart player. He's a smart, he's as smart as Barack Obama, you know, talking. Uh, by the way, big fan of uh, Barack. Not not being political here, but just lo I love the man. Uh, but it's just he's never fit. So why bother? Why bother trying to build the team around uh, including Ramsey into the side when he's never fit? Then you have then you have to go back to uh, the the necessary options like Bentancur, Ramsey, uh, but sorry, Bentancur, Rabio, McKenny. Do you honestly think we're gonna win the Scudetto with this three mid, uh, with these three in the midfield? No. As much as I love Rabiot, it's just not enough. As much as I think Bentacour has potential, it's just not enough. Bentacour will only be good enough if he, ha if he has a great player next to him, a support next to him. Right now, there is nothing. Nothing. He, he needs to play in three-man midfield where he knows his tasks, he knows what to do, and he is not playing so deep as he's played this season. Because if, he, if, he's, playing, if he's playing deep, you can expect the Porto uh, meltdowns once again for next season. And I won't want that. And, that, and also, of course, Ramsey earns too much. Uh, in the lead. Yes, I agree, too much. But that's just if, if if we don't if we don't focus on the fin finances at all, let's forget about the finances. How much we pay Cristiano? How much we pay Ramsey? How much we pay? Um, who else is on the high wages? Rabiot doesn't matter. Just focus on the football, and the football will tell you it, that it doesn't matter how many games you try to get better, but as slow as soon as you are injured. For the multiple times a season, you're never gonna get uh, glued into the system. You're not gonna get to know the players, how they work, how you're supposed to work in a certain system. It just doesn't work. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Rabio Art. Uh, uh, let's see here. Let's Uh, question from Denise. Yeah, can we expect this Scudetto next season from Max? Um, I think it will be slightly. This is a great question. Let me highlight this one. Thank you so much for this question. Um, by the way, guys, if you if you wanna if you wanna smash a like on the video and subscribe and even use a super chat and highlight your uh, comment, of course, and we'll talk about whatever you wanna talk about. 
um, to support the channel. So thank you so much. By the way, this bad boy, of course, and I said before, Cristiano Ronaldo home jersey, original. It's it's not a fake one. It's original one. Will be going your way. One of the subscribers will get this one once we pass two thousand subscribers. Not because I'm about the numbers, just because I'm about the community engagement. Because I love you all. So Dennis is one of them. Love him too, or her, or whatever in between. Um, can we expect a Scudetto next season from Max? Uh, great question. Um, no. Uh, you you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You can expect Champions League, uh, but be prepared to be disappointed. Uh, be prepared to uh, criticize Allegri for his shortcomings. I just don't think the squad per now is good enough to win Scudetto next season. I just don't think so. But with proper tweaks, with Donnarumma arriving, selling Chesney, we get uh, we get some income for Chesney. Um, we're getting a proper left back. We're getting a proper midfielder. We get a proper striker who can actually score goals on a weekly basis apart from Cristiano, of course, then we'll see something. We'll see promise. And we need depth. We need depth, you know. I'd hate, I'd hate to see Danilo in the midfield in the next season. Seriously. Danilo has been great this season. I have no criticism towards Danilo whatsoever. He is one of my top five best players this season. Make no mistake about it. But we cannot just slot players in where where you just have to slot in players because we have no options. That's a bad way. That's 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 that means we are in trouble. So we need to get players out there who can create depth, fight for the starting lineup, and let's see what happens. And Allegri, I think, will be good at creating competition between uh, between the players. So we'll see. But it's a great question. It's a great question because uh, it's all we are talking about, right? Are we back? Are we back to the great, great uh, juvenile with Allegri? No, I don't think so. I think we need to be calma, calma. I need to think we relax, take a deep breath, and look at the reality. Reality check for you. We have only three. No, let's let's be even more crazy. We have two and a half midfielder today. And why I say two and a half? Because that half is McKenny. He struggles with his back uh, back injury. He hasn't been great since he signed his contract. Uh, I cannot even... Uh, I don't care about Arthur. He is not a part of this anymore because he's just not fit whatsoever. The same thing goes for Ramsey. Ramsey will probably leave. So we have Rabiot, Bantancourt. Those two and half of McKenny. Let's be honest, my friends. Let's, let's, let's take a deep breath and look at this and think, do you honestly think we're going to win Scudetto with this? No. Far from it. So we'll see. And if I see the question, I see the comment from Dilda there, uh, that uh, Saul wants to leave Atletico Madrid and we should try to sign him. Yes, but we have no money. We have no money. Of course, if we are selling Chesney, we might get something in the pocket. If we are selling Ramsey, we might get something in the pocket. But how much do you think uh, Atletico Madrid would want for Saul? I'd say 50 and we don't have that kind of money. Because remember, we still need to accommodate the transfer of Chiesa. He's still only on loan. We still need to pay to Sarri. We still need to pay to Pirlo because now he's sacked. Even though that's peanuts, but still we need to pay. And we still need to pay to Delict. Um, we still need to pay whatever Dybala demands. Just sign the guy um, and be done with it. Because I don't want to create another issue here, which is also interesting. Uh, what's going to happen if Dybala leaves? Then we're creating another problem. We have no midfield and now we have basically no attack because Cristiano is, well, um, un he he's uh, uneasy, so to speak, in terms of Allegri. The those are the rumors, at least, uh, during uh, for the social from the social media. Which, if they are true, I don't know. I basically don't care. Let's see what happens. But no Dybala, no Cristiano. We have to build an entire new squad. So why just why don't just resign Tibala? Cristiano has one year left on his contract. Keep him, and then you can properly rebuild. I'm talking to you, Allegri. Once Cristiano leaves, then you can properly rebuild. 
Start with the small, start improving the midfield. If Saul wants to leave, okay, fine, sign him. But not at all costs. I don't want to lose any player that I'd rather keep. Bentancourt exchange with Saul, mm, we're basically in the same place. Then we still we still have only two and a half midfielder. We need another one. And another one, maybe. And another one. And another one. And another one. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, I don't like Saul, says Aditza. That's fine. Um, that's why I don't like double pivots, says Anta. Uh, in the midfield, the role distribution becomes blur. Who is going to run on the channel? Who stays back? Who the one try to break up, play, uh, and that becomes complicated. Yes, the double pivot only works if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing with a double pivot, just don't bother. And uh, double pivot worked at times with Pjanic and Kedira because Pjanic had clear instructions. This was his natural position. And Kedira was a top, top, top professional. He knew what to do. So I think they complemented each other not very well, but good enough to get to the Champions League final with Allegri. But I don't think that Bentancourt is smart enough, not yet. This is why if, let's say, let's say in an ideal world, let's say we get Locatelli to play deep-lying playmaker in a three-man midfield with Rabiot and Bentancourt on the flanks, which could very well be next season. We, we probably will see uh, Locatelli at Juve. And then... Um, and then Rabiot and Betacourt will be flanking the guy. Okay, fine. Those tasks, if we're playing 4-3-3, of course, those tasks need to be contributed, need to be split up equally, and Allegri would need to be very specific with what uh, Betacourt will do, what Rabiot must do, and of course what Locatelli must do. Because if those tasks are being uh, switched around like like it's I don't know, like it's a hot potato, then it's never gonna never gonna be a consistent play. Rabiot, today you do this. No, next day you do this. No, Rabiot, today I want you to run forward. Tomorrow, though, I'd run, I'd like to I'd like you to defend a bit more. They, they would be so confused at the end. So yeah, but we'll see. I say say I I'll I, I say this every time. We'll see what happens. Just because I don't know. I don't know what Allegri will decide, especially now. This is another Allegri. Again, I repeat, this is another Allegri as to uh, whom he was three seasons ago. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, Dexter, welcome to the stream. McKenny has been uh, crap. I'm not going to use that name, that word, but he has been crap since he got that back injury. Yes. Um, ESPN says he's begging for a better coach. <laughs> Never believe ESPN. Moving on, Dexter. <laughs> Um, I would sack Agnelli. This man has no good plan to run this football club anymore, says Boschino. He wanted Pirlo, fail. He wanted Cristiano, fine, but build the team around him. Ramsey, Arauto, Betancourt are not good enough. Uh, Agnelli could not predict COVID, um, and uh, also people are allowed to make mistakes. Also remember, Agnelli uh, was the one who brought us back to greatness. Conte, Allegri, uh, signings. And don't forget, at the end of the day, uh, he signed. Uh, he was a part of Delict signing. Uh, he was a part of many, many great things with us. Uh, Juventus Stadium. Don't forget that his involvement in the club as well. I, I, I get where Agnelli is going with his commercial uh, strategy. I don't agree with that necessarily, but I get it. It's a futuristic thought. It's a futuristic idea. Uh, the thing, um, the. Um, the commercial side, it's all about the money. Yes, I, I don't like it, but I get it. That's And it's okay. It's okay. He wanted Pirlo, he failed. He, they, they underestimated the reactions after a Super League announcement. He failed. But, well, what are we going to do? Who will? Honestly, who, will, who can come in, in uh, instead of Agnelli and make this all better? Who has the knowledge, who has the craftsmanship, who has the passion, who has the know-how to lead a huge football club. And Agnelli has been doing this for ages. So let's just not focus on Agnelli so much. And 
he is also now who hired Allegri. I mean, I said this before as well. It's okay to make a mistake. The kicker is um, <clears throat> to know when to correct that mistake and to not acknowledge that you made a mistake. Because if they, if if he sits on the bench there um, with his uh, with his girlfriend or his wife. And he thinks that, you know what, this is okay. Pirlo losing 3-0 against Fiorentina. Pirlo losing 3-0 against Milan. Pirlo can't win against Benevento. Pirlo can't win against, um, well, Porto cannot progress from the Champions League. If he thinks this is okay, then he's crazy. Of course it's not okay. Barely made it to the Champions League next season. At least for now. Barely. And of course... Uh, Agnelli will think that, you know what, it's time for a change. This isn't working. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I th I, of course, he's not going to go out and say this publicly, but he made a mistake. Thinking that the Super League will kind of help, help Andrea Pirlo get more experience. Okay. That's okay to make a mistake. As, as, much as, as much as it hurts millions and millions of fans... But um, yeah, it is what it is with uh, with Agnelli. I, th I think we should we should just stop with the changes for now. We sacked or relieved Paratici of his duties um, this week. Allegri is now a new coach with extended um, responsibility towards the transfers. We'll see. We'll see what happens. If that's not enough, if that's not working, then we'll see what happens. Then again, that then we may be find out that this is this is far beyond coaches and the players maybe it's all about Aleg uh, Agnelli himself uh, Nicholas has thought that we had money for Locatelli and Donnarumma I think we have uh, money for uh, Locatelli I'm not so sure about Donnarumma however because remember who is his co uh, agent Donnarumma has Mino Ayola as his agent and agent fees are not small ones with this guy they're pretty big, pretty hefty. And uh, with Locatelli, as much as he costs, he wants to join Juve. Locatelli wants to join Juve. And that helps a great deal to pressing that price, to, to lowering that price a bit. Instead of 40 million, maybe we can sell on 40, 35 with bonuses or whatever. Fagioli, maybe he's worth 20 or whatever. Okay, then you have it. You can have Fagioli on loan. <laughs> You can have Fagioli with a buyback clause. Okay, who else you want? Do you want Marco Piazza? Fine, Marco Piazza is yours. Rolando Mandragora? Fine, Mandragora is yours. There you go. Of course, it's not the same as Locatelli, but we can facilitate that transfer. I don't think that would be. I don't think that that would be a problem. Bigger problem is, of course, Donnarumma. Because if Donnarumma arrives, we need to pay him. We need to pay Raiola, and we need to get rid of Wojciech Szczesny because that face Wojciech will not sit on the bench and Donnarumma will not sit on the bench <sighs> as well as much as I'd love to see both at the club but it's just not going to happen so probably we will see uh, Donnarumma in goal if he arrives most likely by the way <clears throat> We don't need Locatelli. He will be the next Bentancourt. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's 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 a very tough one. It's a very very tough. One. What if if Locatelli is coming? I'm just I'm just saying Locatelli because Locatelli is probably the only one, uh, one of more concrete choices, one of the more um, obvious obvious transfers that has been rumored. Uh, whether I agree with your transfer, yeah, sure, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Can UEFA physically ban Juve Real, um, uh, Real Barca or does the EU laws or rule UEFA rules? O A EU rule laws will overrule UEFA rules. Of course they will, uh, Rob. But uh, UEFA first and then they will appeal like Manchester City did and at the end of the day maybe we'll just get um, places in the Champions League anyway. But it will be, it will be popcorn. This is a popcorn level. Uh, kind of kind of thingy. Um, we <laughs> uh, we have exciting summer ahead of us. Exciting summer. But 
This is also a thing to consider, my friends. Um, Allegri, according to some sources, Allegri himself said, I'm joining Juve even if they're playing in the Europa League, which basically means it's not about the money. It's not about the, uh, the playing in the biggest competition in the world. I think it's more about building his own uh, team with his own ideas and he could very well be become like I don't know Alex Ferguson for uh, um for Man United when he was when he was a manager there. Maybe this is the idea. Um it's very early to say of course, but we'll see. Uh amazing video says I think we need Harry Kane. Um uh, I think we needed that type of player, but I think uh, I imagine Harry Kane speaking Italian. <laughs> Nobody would understand the guy. Imagine talking. Imagine a conversation between Harry Kane and Dybala. I, I, I mean, this, this, this would be popcorn. This would be like, you know, this would be all or nothing. Season two highlights: Harry Kane and Dybala having a conversation in Italian. We'll understand the thing. <clears throat> yeah, imagine. Allegri really loves you, says Aditza. Yeah, that is, that is, it seems to be the case. Seems to be the case. Yeah. Montblano said, Don Roma to you. Listen, Montblano, as much as, as entertaining as he is, this is what he does to put out some rumors with some percentages just to be relevant just to keep himself relevant just to keep his um just to keep himself interested you know it's it's tancredi palmeri all over again i don't want that you know what okay fine he can give me 95 99.94 percentages for donnarumma to you but why not 99.91% why not say 95% this is this is just this is just for shows. This is marketing, bad marketing, but it's marketing. Um, uh, Locatelli is proven in Serie A, and Batacur was a raw talent for Bukayo. He's very different player, says Nicholas. That is an interesting point. Yes, however, I th I think Batacur has improved uh, greatly um, since his days in uh, in uh, for Boca Juniors, but he needs more improvement for sure. And I think there are certain things in his um, playing style that can only be improved by a vocal, direct coach who knows exactly which buttons to press. Allegri. I think, seriously, to be honest, those meltdowns from Bentacur this season, like against Porto, uh, many, many others as well, when he gets the red cards, when he gets stupid yellows, I think... Allegri is just the man, maybe also Conte. Just the guy to kick his head in and make him understand that this is not good. You hurt your team. You, you hurt Juve. You hurt for the potential three points just because you are an idiot on the pitch. And I think Allegri could do that job. I think Allegri could be the smart guy and tutor uh, Bandakur. But... It needs to go both ways. Only if players are accepting criticism, constructive criticism, accepting that they are not good enough. Cristiano is the perfect example. Cristiano Ronaldo is his own greatest critic. I wish the same thing could be said about Rodrigo Bantancourt. If Rodrigo thinks that he is good enough now, if he, if he thinks that he's happy, with how the things are going for himself and his career, well, I'm sorry, then, well, then we'll sell the guy. Because as soon as he doesn't think that he needs improving, delusional. This is where it starts. This is where it starts. And we don't need that in a, such a crucial position as a midfielder. I'm on fire today, by the way. <clears throat> yeah, Friday here. It's Saturday, Sunday, what? It's Friday, he... Would you really prefer Allegri than Zidane? Um, yes, to be honest, I would, Boschino, because 
Uh, even though Zidane has won the Champions League, he had another completely other side. Um, he had a peak Real Madrid, more or, la- more or less a peak Real Madrid side, winning the Champions League with him. Cristiano was there, also peak Cristiano. Um, he will not if if Zidane would join our side, he would not uh, dominate as much. He would not um, well impress as much as you think he will. So this is why I think Allegri as a team builder, as a long-term solution, I think uh, is a smarter choice. And Zidane hasn't coached in Serie A. Very specific type of league. I mean, congratulations to Venezia, by the way. Venezia are playing in the Serie A next season. I'm excited for that one. Uh, great kits. I love those kits. If I buy any other kit rather than Juve from Serie A, could very well be Venezia. But great kits. But Venezia playing against Juve. How do you think they will play? Of course, they're going to sit back. And, well, to, for Juve to play against a, a team that sits back, always difficult, always difficult. Does he have the balls and the know-how I mean, talking about Zidane, how to break up those sides. Not so sure. Allegri has experienced it many, many, many times. Succeeded sometimes. <laughs> Failed some other times. Maria is in the chat. Oh, nice to see you, Maria. Long time no see. Um, pleasure. Allegri is a good long-term solution and a good, stabili- a good at stabilizing the team. There we go. I love this. I love this. Another lady in the stream. Pleasure. A long time. Uh, Italy not playing their best, of course, because it's San Marino. San Marino, uh, Italy are playing against San Marino, and Bernardeschi is the captain. Yes, you've heard it. You've heard it all now. You can go to bed. You can sleep well tonight because Bernardeschi is now <laughs> captaining this Ita- Italy side. Fascinating. Uh, I live near Venezia. Wow, crazy, 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 crazy. Energy. Yay. It's lovely. It's lovely. <laughs> Uh, Anish, how are you doing, my friend? I hope you're well. Uh, and uh, thank you so much for keeping up with the stream and uh, with the chat as well. Uh, great work. And um, um, yeah, uh, we're looking for the third moderator, but I think we got one third moderator for this stream, uh, for the Euro Therapy stream, by the way, because I need moderators because it's getting crazy, crazy in the chat. And I love this. Uh, so thank you so much for all your help anish and all the other guys as well thank you and uh, mr crab as well who's also my moderator so thank you so much um let's see so uh hi chosenism just join me i see that uh we need to sell Bern- okay bernadeschi let's focus on bernadeschi for just a second what do we do what do we freaking do with nokia 3210 the greatest is also their pleasure uh what do we do with a guy um to be honest, since Allegri now arrived, I really don't know. Because Allegri can suddenly cook something very crazy in his kitchen and uh, you know, think about, you know what, well, let's, let's play Bernadeschi as a holding striker. Let's play him as a vice uh, Dybala, and then Kulusevski will be playing on the right, and then, I don't know, play Quadrado as a right back. <laughs> it's, I mean... Everything is now up in the air. We don't know. Maybe Bernadeschi is just... Maybe Bernadeschi will stay because Allegri arrived. If Bernadeschi is leaving, I hope he will be leaving because he needs to play consistently for his own good. I'll tell you something, which is quite crazy. I just realized... I I think I, I googled this today and Federico Bernadeschi is 27 years old. 27 he's not 25 24 he's 27 peak of his career supposedly go play somewhere else consistently this is for your own good go because if he will if he thinks he's gonna play consistently for juve he will be very disappointed because let's face it as long as as much as we don't like it as long as Alexandro is there, Alexandro will be a preferred choice. As much as we don't like it. That's the left back for you. As much as we like it, <laughs> Dybala will be the preferred choice. 
behind the striker if we're going with the 4 2 3 1. We'll go back to soon, we'll start the, creating the lineup, by the way. So don't go anywhere. Um, that's it. I mean, on the right flank, we have so many options. Kiesa, Quadrado, even Kulusevsky. Now Beradeski is going to have a say. No. I think I think if he wants to what's good for what's good for his career, go. It's time to go. Bernadeski. As much as I hope you'll be sold right now, I just don't know with Allegri. With Allegri, we never know. Yeah. How many opportunities will Perrin Berna get? It becomes devastating. Yeah, exactly. And I think he devastated himself. I think he's tired of getting the, um, the special treatment. But we, Pirlo has tried everything with this guy. And still, the only thing, the only good thing that Bernadeski managed to do this season is to dye his hair blonde. He's a blondie now. That's, that's the highlight of Bernadeski's season. Bernadeski is the least necessity of those who we need to sell unless chosen is unless we get money for Bernadeski. The only good game I saw from Berna was against Atletico Madrid. Yes, they are, and it was in 1537. Same game, actually. Uh, Sami Kedira played well. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, Berna Atletico. Uh, yes, again. There we go. There we go. This is what I'm saying. Please. Tell me the all the one game. La, tell me the last game where Bernadeski played great. You will most of you will thrash the chat now with the Atletico game. Of course, because that's exactly what I was saying as well. But that happened in the last season of Allegri. That's freaking three seasons ago, two seasons ago. And we're still Still riding that. Bernadeski played well there Spezia, against Spezia. Uh, Bernadeski against Empoli 2018-2019. Well, there we go. Empoli and Spezia. Wow, wow, wow. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. How can we lose? How can we lose Bernadeski? He played great against Spezia and Empoli. Mamma mia. He even scored against Spal. Remember? Bernadeski has more haircuts than good games this season. That is true, Box Max. Yeah, and the, we love Bernard, don't we? Huh? Deep down, we love Bernadeski. Huh? We love how he looks. We love all, we love all his tattoos. Actually, I I I, I love I I love how he uh, how he is as a, as a stylish player. But but that's it. That's just nah, not enough. Um. Bernadeski against Lazio this season. He changed the game in 1-3-1. Yes, this is the most recent one. Yes, Dildar, I agree. Uh, exactly. He, uh, two assists, wasn't it? I think it was two assists. Frosinone. There we go. The mighty. We should create We should create a Bernadeski league. You know, not the Super League, but the Bernadeski league. You know, the, the, uh, he will be goat. He will be goating there, you know. Spezia, Empoli, Frosinone, Atletico Madrid can play there. Um, all if they qualify, of course. Lovely. Uh, there was a question from uh, Boschini there. Do you think Allegri will make Kulusevski better? Great question. Uh, I don't remember any young players that Max made. Great. Mm. Uh, Pogba was more of a Conte surprise. Um, no. But this is the thing. I love the question. Thank you. Uh, this is a great question from Boschino. Do you think Allegri will make Kulusevski better? I don't remember any young players that Max made great. Um, Juventus Football Club. Welcome, by the way. <laughs> we are fans of the biggest club in Italy. And since you are the biggest club in Italy, what is your primary task? To win. Not tomorrow. Not in a season or two. To win every single day this is the burden with a great power comes great responsibility and we have great power and we have huge responsibility because we are juve we need to win every single season so this is why fagioli wouldn't even sniff at the starting position i would be surprised that's why frabotta 
will be mowing the lawn. He'll be cutting grass outside of Allegri's uh, house every weekend while while we go away and play against Atletico, Barca, whatever in the Champions League or in the Super League or whatever. You know, we, we play against Merda. Frabotta and Fagioli will feed his dogs while Allegri is uh, is traveling with the, with the team. That's how much action they will get. Why? Because we are about quality first. Unfortunately, as much as it sounds, as, as crazy as it sounds, we are about quality first, development later. Best thing, however, best thing ever is quality and development combined. Chiesa, Delict and youth, of course, and, and the age, of course. Um, Delict, Chiesa, <laughs> well, partially Bantancourt because he is still a young player. Uh, those players are good now, can become better. Imagine Delict can even become, become even better. Delict can, can be even, even greater. That's, that's just crazy. Um, imagine that. But they still hold so high quality that they will be good enough for Juve to win a league, to win those huge, huge games. If you're playing for Sassuolo, you're not exactly intending to play to win every single game. This is why we have guys like Raspadori, a striker for Sassuolo, a young striker. He plays there. Don't even, don't even think for a second that Raspadori comes to Juve and then he'll play consistently. No. Can barely sniffed at the opportunity with Allegri, but Ken was in love with Allegri. He had mad respect for Max Allegri, mad respect. So, what do you want? Do you want to develop young talent or do you want to win? I'd say win. Of course, the combination of both would be great. Pogba is. Uh, more of an exception to the rule. I, I, uh, once again, Pogba, De Ligt, Chiesa, um, young talents who are good enough to raise the quality of the side. Those are very rare, and those those guys will cost you. I mean, Fagioli will not play. No, look at the look at the lineup. I'll I'll, I'll show it to you once again, guys. This is the lineup for Italy against mighty San Marino. Okay, Castrovilli, talented player, but do you honestly think if we buy Castrovilli, he's a young player as well, he will start for us? No, he's just not good enough, not, not consistent. And Castrovilli is actually quite a good example. This is, this is not enough. Vlahovic is a great example to the other one. Vlahovic scored Tons of goals for Fiorentina this season. He is a young, but he is good enough to have that high, high quality, and he can become even better. So that's the ultimate goal. That's the ultimate desire for a manager to have a young player who can be there for 10 years, but actually become even better. That's why we're screaming about the young players rather than signing Lewandowski, signing, I don't know, whoever, Messi. It doesn't matter anymore. We don't care. We want Mbappes, we want Hollands, we want Phil Foden, we want, I mean, other players, you know, because we know that they are young, that they can stay with us for many, many seasons, and they will most likely improve even better, because everybody can improve, even Cristiano Ronaldo. Just, just look at his free kicks. <laughs> um, but regarding to Kulusevski, this is a hard question. This is a very, very tough question. Uh, could very well be. I think Kulusevski is a very, very similar player to uh, Dybala. Um, so maybe he'll be vice Dybala. Do I think Allegri will make Kulusevski better? On a personal level, without any doubt. I think Kulusevski will get his head, in checked, <laughs> head checked, basically. I think uh, he'll become more professional and he will understand what it means to play for such a huge club as you because I just don't think Kulusevski grasped it this season. He's just too young, and um, we'll see. He's a young player, but is he good enough 
has, does he have the quality to play against Magda away in a week 37 when we are the same points as Magda fighting for the Scudetto? Not so sure. Will Allegri change that? Maybe. Hmm. <sighs> All right, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, this chat is crashing. <laughs> chat is crazy today. So yeah, great. Um, hopefully, Paul will be with you. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, let's do the. <sighs> oh. <sighs> what are the fake news? Uh, what are the rumors? What are you saying, my friends? What did I miss? What did I miss, Ryan? <laughs> I'm just smashing. But you get my point, right? You get my point. The young players uh, are not um, are not the priority. Should not be a priority for Juve, because young players are not necessarily good. If we buy, if we purchase a young player, we we loan them out. We give them to under 23s. We let them play for Cotones, Sassuolo's, Bolognas, Cagliari's, whatever. Daniele Rugani being a very good example. Perfect example. Daniele Rugani was a talent, a great talent. Never improved. Why? Because he didn't play. Because he didn't perform. Because he didn't uh, play consistently for a side. Too much pressure perhaps as well. Maybe mentally weak but he didn't play at the end of the day as much as allegri loved the guy he will be the become uh, the great italian defender he never became he, ne he never did he struggles for Cagliari right now for heaven's sake so he will not be rejoining uh, Cagliari for next season so we'll be stuck with Rigani for next season which is alarming thought by the way but he's a perfect example daniel Rigani is a perfect example of that if you get young you don't necessarily get quality and quality is what Juve ultimately needs in order to win football matches. Quality off the bench and off the pitch, sorry, and on the pitch. <clears throat> Blachos is one season wonder, I'm sure they'll know. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, Chihan, lovely name. Uh, welcome to the stream, Chihan. And uh, this is one step forward, two steps back. Hmm. Very disappointed with the statement. Allegri was a good servant, uh, but this is just becoming ridiculous. All right, uh, Doctor Juve, welcome to the stream. Uh, thank you for for your comment. Yes, I do have a point about Rigani. I think so. I hope so. Uh, men men mentality was lacking. Yes. Uh, would you take Kian back? Um, it depends on the it depends on the money. It depends on the financial aspect of the transfer, Aditza. Uh would I take Kian back? He's not a goal scorer, you know. Moise Kian is not exactly a goal scorer. He didn't score much for uh for Everton. He barely scored at all. He scored some for PSG. I, I don't actually know his stats for PSG. Let's see. Moise Kian. And they, they give me Kian University in well, wherever. Uh, but I don't care. <laughs> ah, Moise Ken, what do you have? 12 goals, 23 games. Well, it's not so bad, actually. But he scored only two in 31 for Everton. Crazy. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It depends on the transfers. Um, and if we're going with him as a prime striker, I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised. Kamavinga will cost us loads loads um lobsang welcome to the stream like uh like chelsea they had young talents they are in UEFA champions league final now yes um that is very very true but as i say uh well they have not exactly the whole side is young talents right they have mason mount they have some other players but overall uh, the core is still there um and well <laughs> great coach can tech swap and get on Naruma, we will do it. Uh, I will. I will do it, actually. I will do it in a heartbeat. All right. You know what? Let's go and have some fun. 
uh, I'm gonna show you something uh, you're gonna love. Uh, all right, no, it's not. It's not that. It's the. Um, it's this bad boy. So uh, this is something called createformation.com. Um, they you can create formation out of bay of players um, that you uh, post, uh, what you basically create. Uh, wait, well, you basically put in here. Sorry, and. Um, this is how it will look like. The only difference is from the last one that I used is that you can actually search for a player here and you can find that particular player. So now we can really experiment on the future lineup from Max Allegri. So, but the only thing I don't like here is position striker first. First of all, my friends, with your help, which formation do you think Allegri will play based on well, well, based on your experience, based on what you think, is it four three three? I know play. I know people say four two three one. Um, so let's see. Yesterday we based it off of four two three one. Let's see if we do the same today. So let me let me see what you guys are thinking. And of course, whichever formation gets the most votes will be starting. Will be our basis. Um, meanwhile, the greatest. 89er says, I like Allegri in my opinion. He's a great coach. At the end, it only matters if you win. I agree. But why suddenly after you wanted attacking football, had a project, they should never let him go. I think Allegri left. Uh, it was a mutual consent, a mutual decision. Uh, I think also uh, <sighs> Allegri needed improvement, needed changes, and he never got them. Uh, and that's why it just was not, it was enough. And uh, Sarri basically made things even worse. <clears throat> Do you want Dybala and Ronaldo to stay? If it were up to me, I'd sell Ronaldo only if there were good enough offers uh, out there. And I would re-sign Dybala because I think we um, we could build future uh, with uh, Dybala. Unfortunately, as much as uh, Ronaldo is vital for us, he has only one year left on his contract. And... Yeah, we cannot build future around the player who has only one year left. Um, but then again, Cristiano Ronaldo is in a win now mode, and Juve are in a win now mode. So if we are to win, if we must win next season, well, Cristiano will be much easier with Cristiano rather than without. Four three three four two three one four two three one four two one three four three three two 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 two. Bernadeschi scored. No, there we go. Told you, told you, told you, Bernadeschi will be rocking today. Rocking goal. 433, 4231, 4231, 4 2 Bernadeschi scored. Yeah, I love this. I love this. Uh, Icardi, by the way, guys, Icardi will not come. Uh, according to himself, he said that he will be staying for next season, until, uh, well, next season as well. So, boom. Breaking news, Milan signed Giroud in a two-year deal. Is this true? Is this true? Wow. That's actually an interesting purchase. But two-year deal. Uh, is this very, very true? Uh, uh, uh. Zinedine Zidane has decided to leave Real Madrid with immediate effect. Yep. Uh, David de Alaba is a new Real Madrid player. Okay. Barcelona are open to sell. Philippe Coutinho in the summer. Yeah, nothing official yet. Anyway, so um, this is. This is the one. Okay, so we start with the goalkeeper. I think we'll go with the four three three. Let's let's go with the four three three since we did four two three one last uh, yesterday. <laughs> we'll start with the goalkeeper. Wojciech Szczesny is our prime goalkeeper. So, no, sorry. <laughs> there we go. I love this. I love this app or this website. Love this. It just pops up. Wojciech Szczesny, thirty years old goalkeeper. 
And no, Lucas Pisek will not play as a goalkeeper. Relax. Um, do you guys think uh, Ferrari scored? Okay, 2-0 to, uh, to Italy against San Marino. The mighty San Marino. Wow, wow, wow. Um, what do we think? Do we think that Donnarumma will be signing for Juve? So let's say, for the sake of it, uh, for the sake of it, for the fun of it, let's go with Donnarumma. On, uh, on one years old, not Alfredo, of course, not the striker, but Donnarumma is in goal. Hmm? I think that I think it would be fun, huh? Donnarumma in goal, which means no uh, Wojciech Szczesny. Then left back, and this is where it gets interesting. Would you have Alex Sandro? Or if you are Allegri, bear in mind, this is Allegri. This is not you who co who is uh, coaching you. Eh? This is Allegri. If you are Allegri and if you have options in the market, not expensive ones, but bargains, but good enough, do you still keep... He will keep Alexandro. No, make no mistake about it. He will keep Alexandro. But will he go out and get someone better? And if that... if And if, who would that be? <laughs> Nicholas says Robin Gusens. I'm completely sold out on the Robin Gusens. And um, well, I think it might be tight, tight too expensive. Uh, <laughs> Berna, Berna, you guys are really all over Bentaku. Uh, Bernadeschi, I love this. Gusens from Atalanta says Akshay. Uh, Alexandro needs a backup, says Inderjit. Yes, but do you think Alexandro starts for Allegri or not? Gusens, yes. Emerson says Lobsang. Okay, most of you go with Gusens. Keep an Adeski, he will play better under Allegri, says Prasis. All right. I want Gusens and Depay from the start. Depay. Wow, I don't think I think Depay will be joining Barca. Gusens. All right, most of you go with Gusens. Right. This is yours. Uh, where is he? There we go. Uh, Robin Van Persie. I love this. Okay, we have slot in Robin Van Persie right there. Robin Gusens, fine. Uh, so that basically this is the Wojciech Szczesny money. Uh, this is the Wojciech Szczesny money that's been used on Gusens more or less. Uh, I think I still think that Alexandro will be starting, uh, but. Most of you guys go with Robin Gusens. Fine. So we go for the popularity choice, popular choice. Uh, mid central defenders, basically. So let me just type in the link there because anything else is insanity. But next to the Ligt, who would that be? My hunch tells me my, my gut tells me that it will be Bonucci even though Bonucci and Allegri are not the best of friends I think Bonucci will be staying uh, and Chiellini will just not be fit enough to compete every single week um, so probably Bonucci Demiral should get more chances this season says the Lunkian uh, Demiral uh, Chiellini says Aditza uh, can't we buy? When if you want to buy somebody, go. Give me a good name for a centre back. I don't think this will be a focus. I would try get Sinchenko from Manchester City. Says Mega Biscuit. I love the name Mega Biscuit four nine two. Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, great guy, great player. But if you're gonna buy anyone from the Premier League, they will kill your wages. It will be hard. Paul Torres. Says Dominic Demiral, uh, Demiral, Romagnoli from Prasis. Bonucci defense is not good, but his passing is great. Says Nicholas, uh, Paul Torres, Paul Torres, Paul Torres, Paul Torres. <laughs> this is this turns out to be uh, you know uh, the uh, fantasy football, but uh, Paul Torres, twenty four years old, playing for Villarreal. Um, let me get some 
update on the guy because I have no idea how much he's worth. Pau Torres is worth 50. 50, 5 0, 50 euros. He's 24. He's Spanish. You know what? And he's good looking though. But uh, Pau Torres could be Real Madrid bound. Uh, Sergio Ramos probably done more or less. Could be a Barcelona bound. He's apparently, well, his value is uh, according to transfer market. 50 million. I think it's worth more than that, and I don't think we have the money. So I think we need to focus more on uh, Demiral, uh, Bonucci, or freaking, I don't know, Romagnoli. <laughs> um, let's go. Okay, let's go with the popularity uh, choice. Popular choice once again. You guys said Demiral, so we go with Demiral. I don't like that choice personally, but that's yours. And that could actually be with Allegri. Um, but I'm still kind of leaning more towards Bonucci being there because they need a senior guy. Uh, as, uh, you know, um, And he's our captain if Chiellini isn't there. So Demiral Delict, fine. Right back. Who is Benoit Badiashile? Aditza. Knows her football. I have no, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Sionko, isn't that the, the huge guy from Leicester? I have no idea. Uh, Panita says Nicholas. Uh, Benoit Badiashile. Danilo, Danilo. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Danilo or Cuadrado? Danilo J J Lo vlogs. Whoa. JLo vlogs. Love this. Quadrado. Quadrado Danilo. Quadrado Danilo. Well, if we are focusing on attacking play, Quadrado. Defensive, Danilo, probably. But let's go for the let's go have some fun. Let's go put Quadrado there. 32. Ooh, we have Jose Quadrado as well. Okay, let's go with Quadrado on the right back. This is a position I don't think we will uh, we will focus so much on. Uh, so they think it will be rather Danilo or Quadrado uh, at the right back. We don't need a right back, basically. Uh, Danilo is an awful fullback, says uh, Chihan. Uh, I think it's better Danilo so that Quadrado can attack on the right midfield, says Ryan. Quadrado 100% says Dildar. Allegri disagrees, says Rishi. No, there we go. Um, all right, moving on to the midfield. And this is where it gets interesting. Um, can I slot in Rabiot, please? For me, can I can I get one? Can I get one? What's up there, you morons? I don't want it there. I don't want him there. Can I move him? How can I move him? Mamma mia, what's happened now? Let's go with Rabio. Two Rabios. This club is so great, we can actually copy Rabiot. So, Locatelli, let's go with Locatelli there instead. Isn't, that, isn't this logical? Don't you agree? <laughs> Arthur Rabiot Awar, says Prasis, Loca Banta Arthur, Saul Locatelli, Rabiot Locatelli, Banta, says Linkian, Rabiot for sure, says Shihan, Saul, Saul. You guys are all over so cool. Even Arthur says J Lo vlogs. Sal Bantancourt says Yash. Nicholas says Arthur. Rabio Arthur and Locatelli says chosenism. Yeah, we cloned this uh, these crazies, <laughs> Ryan indeed. Paul Scholes, Batman. Batman. Batman is in the chat. Uh, Cristiano says Kante. Cristiano Mike. Luckily, it's not Cristiano, Cristiano. Pogba. Says Sherwin, Whew, expensive. Arthur, um, Awar, Saul. All right, let's entertain you guys. Let's go with Saul. This is only 25. 
interesting i thought he was older lovely all right and then we go to strikers and bear in mind sergey bear in mind my friends uh cristiano and allegri might not be there i mean cristiano will not be might not be there when allegri starts the season with uh, juve so to create something more interesting guys uh than just slotting um slotting cristiano there dibala there cristiano on the left dibala as a striker and chiesa as a right winger let's assume cristiano leaves okay uh let's assume cristiano leaves and uh let's focus on what will happen if cristiano leaves so we start with the right wing i think it's safe to assume that chiesa federico chiesa will be playing as a right winger uh as a striker as a striker who will we play if Cristiano leaves, then Pogba will be coming, I believe, says chosen. Chiesa as a right winger, Ronaldo left wing, Morata says Willy. Put Morata in the center of the for the headers, says Ryan. Uh, if Ronnie moves, you will lose half of its fans. <laughs> well, I'm not so sure of that. Um yeah, football look up, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh Andre Silva. Says Dominic, uh, Paolo Dybala says Nicholas, uh, Vlahovic, Dybala false nine. If you put Morata, mm. yeah, you have some ideas, my friends. You have some suggestions. Morata, Vlahovic, Dybala. Uh, Morata is staying, yes. Morata is staying indeed. Uh, it looks like, like it. Um, I would be amazed if Dybala is not in the starting lineup, though. Starting Dybala in there as a deep lying uh, striker, as a false niner in the 4 3 3. Um, and Icardi will not come because he said so himself. Uh, a lot of BS has been written on social media, according to himself. So I think um, Dybala will be playing as a striker if we're starting, if this is a starting lineup. Um, <clears throat> Creative content says Dybala falls nine. Dybala Morata says Mega Biscuit. I love the name. Mega Biscuit. Um, Andre Silva says Dominic. Yeah. Allegri always bashed Dybala in his last season for Mandzukic. Yeah. Cristiano arrived, so I don't know. Uh, so nobody in the box who could actually hiding a ball into net. No, but I don't think they have to, actually. Um, and the left wing. Correa. We're talking about Joaquin Correa from Lazio. This guy. Like this. <laughs> you know what? I'm not so sure if I like this. Too many players arriving and too many players leaving. This is an overhaul on the budget. <laughs> you know what? I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my mind. Cristiano stays. <laughs> Looks better now, huh? Looks much better. Huh? Wano Kulusevsky, well, because he is sunburned that weekend, so he will not play. I I, I don't know. With Allegri, this is... this. Pfft. It's not so bad, but I question the Miral. I question the Miral choice, and I question also the Locatelli. 
Um, I question Saul. Goose. I mean, I question everybody. Even even Dybala there as well. I mean, in a four-two-three-one, this would look a bit different, though. Four, two, three, one. Why is it like this? It's not a four. It's a four, three, two, one. There we go. Cristiano. Now this is more like it. But let's see. So CAM is Dybala. Cristiano is a left wing, left striker, basically. I don't understand why it's not a more of a fancy formation. Cristiano is so good, we, we, we made two of them. Uh, Chiesa on the right. And Morata is a striker. This looks a bit better, no? Could be, could, it does look a bit better. I don't know. Maybe it does. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Sandro will stay. Yeah, I think he will stay there. Yeah. That's a good squad, says uh, Nicholas. The problem with the ball up front is there is never stays as a position. That is true, Dominic. He will always roam. And Morata will screw everything. Yeah. No more Morata, says uh, Rutanshu. Welcome to the stream. It's good, but no Gusans. I don't like to be honest. The, the thing is, I have this if no Gusans, if no Gusans, then it will be Alex Sandro. It has to be. Let's face it. Let's be real. Let's be real. 29 only. Let's be realistic. We just don't necessarily have the money. And with Demiral there, hmm, I, I, I really think that Bonucci will stay. And I think Bonucci will be playing next to Even We don't have to like it. That will be, that will be the option from Allegri. This is a realistic lineup for next season. This is probably the most realistic lineup for next season, as, as boring as it looks. Probably, yeah. Probably this will be this will be the most realistic uh lineup for now. Danilo cannot play on the left, Nicholas. No, 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 no. Please, please. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So probably on Locatelli, yeah, that's true. Um he's so good. It's two positions. There we go. Yeah. I'm not I'm not I'm not against this. I'm not against this lineup. Yeah. Yeah, they're there. But but once again, remember, this is not football manager. This is reality. We have no money. So based on that, right now, we need to get the what's best out of this squad. With the money that we have locatelli donnarumma and well you never know there will be more signings who could be on the bench for example so where is bentancourt uh where is arthur for example where is mckenny so yeah i th i say this is the most realistic as much as we don't like it this is the most realistic lineup for next season if dibala stays if Cristiano stays, if we sign Rocatelli and of course Donnarumma. Uh, no, Pavan, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're far from sure that Cristiano will stay. Um, I do not think, honestly, I do not think Cristiano will stay. I think Cristiano will go just because Allegri arrived. And for Allegri, I think Allegri will be content Let's, I, don't, I won't say happy, but um, I think Allegri's building, uh, 
In order to build a squad, I think Allegri will be much more content with not having Cristiano there. Um, but how do you replace those 30 goals? And also, we talked about this yesterday. Um, it's, um, it's about the team. You know, if the team can make those can make up of those 30 goals, Dybala scores 15, Chiesa scores 15, Morata scores 15, okay, boom, you have 45. Um that's it. Um and who comes in instead of Cristiano? Well, Korea, there were talks of Korea here in the chat. Um okay, he can score five, maybe. So there we go. But then you have a team understanding. It was always unpredictable who will score for Juve. And let me just google this because this is actually quite interesting it is very interesting um juve juve storia di un grande amore 16 17th season this is where we lost against real madrid 4-1 got destroyed Gonzalo Higuain, 24 goals. Paolo Dybala, 11 goals. Mario Mazzucchi, 7. 15-16 season. This is interesting. Paolo Dybala, 19. Mario Mazzucchi, 10. Paul Pogba, 8. Alvaro Morata, 7. You see the trend? Several players scoring. Last season, I mean this season that we just finished. Cristiano, 29. Alvaro Morata, 11. Federico Chiesa, 8. And that's it. McKenny, 5. So the domination from Cristiano and Morata. And partially Chiesa. That's it. But I mean, several 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 players were dangerous in front of goal under max allegri rather than it was the case with sari um or pirlo <clears throat> thank you for the super chat Azejon. welcome to the stream as always my faithful if you don't go to man united is it true nah i can't be why should Ole get the sack? Hmm, interesting. But thank you for the super chat, I appreciate it. Um, swap Pogba. I don't think I don't think Zidane and Cristiano are just like a married couple. Wherever Zidane goes, Cristiano goes. Um, I don't think I don't think so. I think well, it, it could very well be. It could very well be that Cristiano joins Man United, and but Pogba again. I just don't like Pogba. I, I don't think he will be a solution. That's my honest, honest opinion. Uh, if, yeah, well, if Zidane go to Man United, then Cristiano Ronaldo will go to Man United, swap Pogba. I don't know. Could be. But um, <laughs> it's a tough one. But yeah, again. Uh, with Sarri, 31 goals Cristiano, 11 goals Dybala, 8 goals Pipita, and that's it. 4 goals Matthias De Ligt. Imagine, De Ligt scored 4 goals for Sar under Sarri. Wow. We still, have no creative, uh, we still don't have a creative midfield. No. Well, we do. But he is um, drinking Kool-Aid at J-Medical. His name is Arthur. Um... Is a, and Dybala is number 10. We'll need to sub for Morata. Yes. Uh, we need the bench. Yes. I agree, Aditza. We need the bench. This is why I think it will be purchases. And that's it. So this is the more, most realistic lineup, I think. <clears throat> All right. Whoa. One hour and 45 minutes already passed. We are going crazy. I love this. I love this. But, <clears throat> yeah, so this is it. I think um, I think this is the situation right now. Allegri signs, uh, Allegri signs a four-year contract with Juve. Um, we get to 
I said this, we need to have a confirmation of a new manager ASAP. We got that. Okay, let's move forward. Let's see what happens in the future, in the next week or so, what's going to happen. How will uh, the transfer market look like for Allegri? Which players will be linked? We'll talk about this next time. We'll be live, of course. Um, which players are most likely to leave? Remember, this is uh, ne this needs to be done before the Euros. We need to confirm as much as we can before the Euros because after Euro Euros, players will be on vacation and Allegri needs time. Allegri needs time to build whatever he needs building. I trust Allegri to do a job. But will that be good enough to win the Scudetto? No, I don't think so unless we have changes on the pitch. Unless we have new players and other players, key players in key positions. Then we'll see what Allegri can cook with the squad. Thank you. Another one for the super chat for Azizon. Need 100%. We need a left back. I agree. Uh, Arthur got part time job at J Medical. Yes. He basically took over for Sami Kedira and Douglas Costa. Um, that's a very, very fine, fine job. As sad as it sounds, but it's true. Um, yeah. Confirmation Ronaldo. Yeah, I would love to give it to you, Aditya. I would love to give it confirmation on Ronaldo, whether he will leave or stay, but we have none. Um, to be, I feel, I have a bad feeling about this. I have a feeling that nothing will be decided with Cristiano before after the Euros. Once the Euros are done, or once Portugal are eliminated, uh, because I don't think they'll win it, um, then, then we'll talk about Cristiano. So maybe for us, for Juve, for Juve fans, and for Juventus as a club, and for Cristiano himself, maybe it's better to be to get eliminated as soon as possible. So then we can concentrate on Cristiano's future. <laughs> okay, of course, for Cristiano himself, he wants to um, lead Portugal to another European glory, as he did last time. But um, yeah. I just don't think they're going to do it this season. Maybe they will, but I just don't feel it. Uh, I'm rooting for Italy. Um, yeah. All right, my friends. Listen, we got to end this stream. Unfortunately, um, it's been one hour, 48 minutes. We did three hours and 40 minutes or so yesterday. So I have six hours or so with you guys over the last 24 hours insane but as i said one hour and 40 minutes ago this season you my friends has been sensational you supported this channel you supported every stream every week i see the same names i see aziz john coming in i seen brad i seen akshay i've seen ryan uh, i've seen aditza thank you so much for joining stream every single week thank you so much for supporting this channel thank you for all your super chats thank you for for your likes um of course i'm, I'm not going anywhere this will continue this will continue to next season we'll do some crazy stuff with my boy um during the summer regarding euros um and of course coming into the new season um i see batman batman um um yeah and of course don't forget this one thank you for reminding me actually this one is a giveaway once we get past 2000 subscribers so get subscribing spread the word <sighs> i love you all thank you so much you don't you just don't have no idea you probably have some idea but i'll just repeat it once again you have no idea how much it means to me that you guys returning to the channel and supporting giving your ideas giving me your uh takes giving me your uh, opinions on stuff was going on because we can this is very very important we can disagree but as long as we are we have a common goal which is supporting you that's it and there are many many times we've talked about other uh yeah indeed uh talked about m other things than football we talked about uh movies uh movie stars music we talked about girlfriends boyfriends 
we talked with the uh, Canadian Mont Blanc. We've had some awesome guests. Uh, we had it all. And yes, Brad, that is true. I have no equipment. I have crappy lighting. I have this is a webcam which is installed into my Mac from 2000. I don't know when. I think we bought it in 2018 or something. Uh, how to get an origin girlfriend. Yeah, we'll take that another time. <laughs> um, I mean, I have crappy setup. I have much, I had much better setup, but now I'm re uh, renovating. So this is it. It's a Morata kit and Cristiano kit. And then we have Rabiot kit hanging there. That's it right now. Um, but it doesn't matter because the content is more important than the look right now. But of course, the look will get better as soon as I'm done renovating and, well, get enough money to buy me a proper camera. <laughs> yeah. Don't leave so soon. No, man, I did say as much as I love to, as much as I love to stay, I, I gotta go. Um, I need some food. I need to go to sleep. And uh, tomorrow I have a big day with Oscar. We're going to have some fun. We're going to enjoy the sun will be shining. And uh, we are going to unpack some Panini cards. I packed this boy, by the way. This is a double. So we, we packed this guy two times. Football Adil, Serie A predictions. Well, we just have to wait until july but this is a good suggestion as to how to make a street how to uh, which video to make yeah so we'll do a syria prediction table for next season yeah this is the irony indeed yeah paul pogba was back let's see who else i got before we before we end up the stream these are the doubles so i got this russian uh, russian vodka drinker his name is yuri yuri gozinski he like vodka you'll see he like vodka. He like himself some ladies as well. He born nineteen eighty nine. He weigh seventy five kilo. He very heavy. Actually, not that heavy. Only seventy five kilos. It's quite alright. Um, yeah, and then we have Paul Pogba, <clears throat> and then we have another great player, Ilya. You know him. He is playing for. Udinese, Ilya Nesturovsky, South Macedonia, crazy SOB, born in 1990, probably in Soviet Union. Hmm. Yeah, I got him also. Where did you learn English? Uh, school in Norway. No, actually, I learned English in Russia because I'm originally from Russia. Um, so that's why I bash Russian accent. There we go. Who do you like or our favorite in Euros? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it's. Uh, I don't know. Oof, I have to look into it a bit closer. But uh, France is an in interesting side. When did you come to Norway? I wonder if you really had a certain thing. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I, di I did not. Uh, <laughs> no. All right. And the last one uh, doubled so far. Is a double double, uh, Matthias Jorgensen and Simon Kier. Uh, Simon Cher, the Danish uh, dudes. Simon Cher, of course, playing for Milan. So, um, bleh. as Oscar says, bleh. I know Bosenio, I'm just joking, I'm just messing around. Um, I'm originally from Russia, but I'm, uh, I'm based in Norway. Yeah, so that's where you see my beautiful stream and maybe you hear some seagulls in the background that's because we live near the ocean mm, indeed portugal germany france hungary mm. all right my friends listen it's been great fun thank you so much for joining this stream um i will for sure will be streaming there we go Azizhom. thank you so much for another for the super chat well sony a6100 cost me well we cost a thousand euro, thousand bucks or something. Um, so yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's gonna cost me, and of course I have money myself, but it's just so expensive. But in order to get some proper proper camera, I gotta save up. So all your support is greatly appreciated uh, to helping me out to sorting this thing out. And um, yeah, we do this every day. Almost every day. We up. I think we try to upload every day from Ego Therapy. 
What part of Russia are you from? Uh, oh, north of St. Petersburg. This is where I was born. Just cost of one. $1,000, one family dinner. Azizhan. I'm sorry, boy. If you take out your family on a $1,000 dinner, wow, you make me you make me sound like I'm Antonio Conte standing outside and knocking on the door of a $100 restaurant. <laughs> Thousand euros for a family dinner. Mamma mia, Azizhan, you, you feast good. Ah, Azizan, listen, I'd love to make a video about your crib. No, you're like, visit. Like, Here's my crib. Welcome to my crib. My name is Azizan. This is my crib. And then you have the pool. You have the ladies on the left. You have the pool on the right. You have the bar. You have the second floor, the gaming room in the basement. You have the porch. You got your own um, backyard with the, with the artificial grass and the five-a-side pitch. Azizan got it good. Oh, I love this. I love this. This is funny. Ah, this is funny. I love you, Adrian. You know, you know I love you. Ah, yeah, he must have a big family. He must have a huge family. Do Svidania, indeed. <laughs> Another one for Super. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Adrian, you're great. You're great. You're great. Um, all right. But guys, I really got to go. Um, I gotta have some food and then I go to bed and then we'll see you of course uh, next Friday but bear in mind we might do another live during the week so stay tuned smash a like on the video subscribe to the channel uh, also smash that bell button so you don't miss whatever I'm uploading discord server join a discord server please if you want to ca catch up with me if you want to talk to me or some other guys uh, please subscribe and um, we are a small community. I got to say, we are a very small community. Uh, but here we are. And, we, and I'm loving every one of you. Aditya, thank you. Tanush, thank you. Rob, Brad, Dildar, Azizhan, of course, Boshinho, um, Aditza, uh, Mr. Anjuna Beats, and many. Cristiano Mike, even though. Ryan. Um, yeah, you guys are great. Thank you so much. Have a good weekend. Fino alla fine.